presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to our man, Al in Homo Sasa. What's going on, brother? It's, isn't it wonderful? I went ahead and invested in your uh, Tiger Dollars, <laughs> and I went ahead and got the gold report <laughs> for a year, and, and also your, morning, your, your call letter and stuff like that. Like that and I got over a fifty percent return in one day, not counting uh, everything else. But I just want to thank you. Tom's not perfect, but he tells you how to put your stops in and he keeps your losses small. You can take your small losses, but then all of a sudden you'll be like Dave Root and you'll hit a home run. I mean, a big home run. Yeah. And put the money in your pocket. Okay, I mean, brother. I You're awesome, man. Thank you. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Create the perfect relationship between you and your body. Treat your body with all love, honor, gratitude, and respect. When you make it your goal to adore your body and accept yourself completely, you're learning to have the perfect relationship with anyone else you are with. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 24, Nasdaq's down 102, S&P's off 17. Gold. Gold contract up $4.70, trading at 1680 an ounce. We have silver up 19 cents, $19.67 an ounce. Light Street crude up 56 cents. $83.47 a barrel, notes and bonds. You get the 10-year, down one full point, plus 13 ticks at 112.26. The 30-year, down two, plus seven ticks at 128.12, and King Dollar. King Dollar's up 600 ticks, trading out here at a price point of 111.243. The Euro's at 98. The Yen is at 142, and the British Pound is at 112 to one U.S. dollar. iPhone number is 877. 9276648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the SPs, let's take a look at it. What do you have? Well, I'm going to go into the futures first, man, because this has been a really cool day if you're in front of a screen. And as to the aspect of how this continued to try to get the lower price. So if we take if we take a look at this, what you're going to see is this, okay? This morning, you had, you had it was a uh, full about a, an hour and 10 minutes going sideways couldn't break the low couldn't break the low we finally broke the low folks but when we broke that low now these are on 10 minute bars you watch me all the time that's what i trade off that's what i love uh bottom line we broke that low folks inside the the s p's with one half of the contracts one half okay the bottom line that says what? What does that say? That says there's no more sellers down below. Now, I'm not going to be the only one that understands there's no more sellers down below because, because we're so close to the lows, right? If you break the lows and you have sellers, that S&P, okay, at the time, the, the S&P got down to a price point of 37.63. Man, that thing should have went to 37, okay? That's how that w works out. That being said, that's not the, 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 the bottom line. What, because inside the out of time in the trade, you look to both ways. Well, what did we get next? Well, what we got next was that when we had the thrust higher at uh, 1220, it had volume. It had good volume. It had volume of 48,000 contracts. Now, what's going on now? We just took that out with 55,000 contracts. Guess what? We're going higher. You're going to a rejection of price, you're going higher. Now, watch this. This is really cool. So, we're dealing with the bottom, right? And so let me show you something with the bottom here. You know, I talk a lot about the aspect of markets testing lows, testing highs, right? And testing the highs of lows. Well, guess what? If you look at the SPX, the high of the low bar is 38.38. Now, we came down uh, into a price point of 37.49. Right now we're at 37.66. This is on a weekly. So we are at into the highs of the lows. Now, 
if we close tomorrow above 3838, that is going to be technically a test of the highs of the lows. Now, that's, and then, so now let's go, because what you'd be looking for, you'd also be looking for the test on lighter volume. So now let's put this up, and we'll put the SPY up, and we'll take a look at it, and see what exactly we have there, okay? So when we take a look at the SPY, right now what's going on is that we are testing 645 million shares, right? Well, the bottom line, we're only at uh, 321. So if we get if we get this rejection, man, bottom line, can't bust them down, what? Where are we going? We're going up. We're going back to the top of that 431. And listen, that can consolidate there for a long period of time. We'll see, uh, we'll have a better understanding on the bounce to see if the volume contracts again as it gets up to, to the higher level, what that would mean is that you're gonna be in a consolidation. A wide consolidation like that, folks, okay, is a field day. That's, that's the bottom line. It's a monster field day. Now, let's get over to the dollar. Um, well, let's go to gold first. There's, there's, yeah, because the bottom line, gold did have um, volume out here today. This question is that because of Russia and the UK and nukes and all that, I'd say, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, I don't think any of us really understand the ramifications. You know, it, it's one thing hearing, you know, Putin going out of his mind. Um, it's another thing that if it ever happened, okay? And yeah, they were running to gold. Um, you know, so I'd say that's yes. Technically, I like how it's coming in to the rest of these bars because it's coming into the bar and you have an expansion of volume. We go into the dollar and this is still going to be the wild card. We have the Bank of Japan last night came in with intervention. So what you have with the dollar is that it's hanging at highs, man. That's the bottom line. Uh, if we go over to the Bank of Japan, we take a look at the yen. What you're going to see is the bottom line. They came into the market. You know, <laughs> I, the yen went from a price point of one, was that 140? 145 then hit a low of 140, and you're laying out at 142.21, which is still highs, man. That's the real bottom line. They, they can probably intervene as much as they want. Um, it's gonna have to be uh, a lot more intervention, and I expect uh, that, you know, the, the amount, the strength of the dollar, no doubt, is doing mayhem, and, you know, we'll see uh, if larger traders start selling the dollar. And they very well might, you know, because the bottom, bottom line is that, you know, you know how these things go. You go up, down, you go all around, and, you know, it can be very fast, it can be very furious, particularly um, in the context of the foreign currencies, you know. And when, you, when we take a look at what Powell said yesterday, where Powell was going is that he wants four, so the Fed said they want 4.3, folks, by 2023. They didn't say they want it by the end of 2022. Well, that's, that's only 1.25. Well, yeah, we're, we're already at three, uh, we're 3.25 right now. You know, so guess what? This thing wants to bounce. Dow's up 94, NASDAQ uh, is down 78, S&P's uh, down six and a half. We'll come right back. inflation, where your purchasing power is eroded, there's no better place to protect your hard-earned money than in gold. Vista Gold's flagship asset is the Mount Todd Gold Project in the Northern Territory of Australia. This is Australia's largest undeveloped gold project. We are talking a world-class gold project in a Tier 1 mining district. This is a large-scale, low-cost project with significant existing infrastructure in a politically safe and friendly mining jurisdiction. Vista Gold just completed the Mount Todd Feasibility Study, which resulted in a 7 million ounce gold reserve in a 16 year mine life. All of this combined with the approvals of all major operational as well as environmental permits. This distinguishes Mount Todd as an attractive, de-risk partner, ready development stage gold project. Vista Gold trades on the New York Stock Exchange under the symbol VGZ. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? 
Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. The Dow. Dow Industrial is up 42. You get the Nasdaq down 94. S&P's off 13 and a half. Let's go to Bill in Boca Raton. Bill, what's going on? Well, thank you for taking my call, Tom. It's been a long time, but um, I really have enjoyed listening to your show off and on for years. You're great. Well, I appreciate you growling and prowling with us out here. Um, I'm looking at um, Valero, VLO. Okay. And uh, what I... <clears throat> I'm into measured moves sometimes, and um, they had a high. It had a high of 145.08. I think it was a closing high um, back in June, and it came down to just under 100, and it's bounced back. And from that high, which was uh, let's see, um, maybe in August, yeah, uh, uh, the end of August. Then I'm thinking that would be, would you take the amount of the move from the, the past down downtrend and then go to the top of the June high, I'm sorry, the uh, August high, and then take the same amount and you end up with uh, a, a close down to the bottom of about seventy nine dollars and twelve cents. Okay, I see what you're saying. So. Um Okay, so let's just look at this. So that move. Okay, so that move from the top to the bottom, it did the counter trend bounce was about a 55% move, okay? So there's a couple different things that end up happening. The closer that you get a bill to, like the bounce, it almost did a 0.618. So when you do a 0.618, right, it just missed it by, the 0.618 is 127, and we did 125.38. So when you do something like that, right, most of the time you're not gonna break out the lows. And you can see when we went down there, we didn't break out the lows. Now this is really tricky here because we had big volume, okay, on the 20, on the 16th rather. But yet it didn't break that low. You see how that works? So that in itself is like, okay, you wanna consolidate for a bit. Um, you know, so I don't see that going down to that 79. Um, I, I see this, that more than likely, that, see that low that was, was established out there, that's a high volume low, you know, I think that's gonna get tested because we did get under it by a penny the next day, but it's like, you know what, it, it, you have volume contracting here, you're going against right now, five million and 6.3 and you're only doing 2.1, you know, so. 
that's telling me that it wants to at least test that last swing low of 101. You know, and you might get what you want. I mean, but I think 101 is game more game than the 79 area. There's been a lot of <clears throat> there's been a lot of talk on the the TV about um, higher prices going up on the energy market um, into um, um, the winter months, but. I, at the same time, you got um, Volkler, you know, not Volkler, huh. um, you got what's his name Powell. jerking up interest rates at Powell. That right. You just can't. I mean, you, you're fighting the you're fighting the Fed a little bit here. That's correct. Absolutely. So right. It's like I don't know. I shrug my shoulders. I just um, what I like to do is sell covered calls. And by the way, nice. you were the one that. Uh, no, got that's me onto awesome. That. Yeah, that's awesome, man. No, listen, man. I think you're absolutely correct in the aspect that the Powell. Okay, so listen, we all should just look at this for our own whatever is happening in our own personal cities, personal families. Inflation's got to be killed, folks. Okay, and then and and. You know, they're going to get closer and closer to say flat out they got to put us in a recession to get a kill. Because you're not going to come back. My take is we're not coming back to 2%, period. He keeps saying 2%. You know, we're not going to go from, like, you know, an overall inflation rate of, you know, over, you know, double digits down to 2% in, like, two or three years. You know, we might come to four and lay off a bit. Do you know what I mean? But, yep. and that's going to squeeze everything. There's no doubt. And what you also have, you know, Bill, is that, yes, that... In the winter months, you know, the bottom line is that you need heat, you know, the northeast and all this, but you don't have as much driving, you know. I think this, you know, you know, and, and the lie, I, I think what we're going to have is that, you know, this doll is going to back off, um, you know. So, you know, I, I think, you know, I think that oil is going to be worth less money, man. That's the real bottom line. So, <clears throat> What about switching over to the pipelines like Williams Company or something? What's the symbol for William? WL? Is it? WMB. WMB. So, the low is 24, the high is 37. Yeah, I know. See, this, this, this one here is telling me it wants to go to that low, too. I mean, you know, I mean, if you keep these for longer term and you sell a couple of calls, I think it'll make money. Take up the premium. If they take it away from you, they'll take it away from you. Do you know what I'm saying? But. You know, Williams looks to me like wants to go to 29. That's sticking out like a sore thumb, you know. And then, see, like, uh, what, five days ago? See how it came down with volume, too? You know, this seller's is in yeah. this. This seller's is in this. The seller, their sell is definitely in, in the, not all the energies, but the sell is in the energies for sure. Well, uh, and and uh, you just don't, like I said, I, I, I'm thinking that... Um the energy isn't going to be as needed as everybody thinks it is. I agree. Yeah, because we're going to go into recession. It, listen, it's already it's already happening. I, I can tell you. So check this out, folks. I, I think I explained this before. The, I build a lot of houses, all right? So, you know, they talk about supply chains and all this. The supply chain is totally wide open, man. Don't, don't believe for a second you can't get stuff. You can get as much as you want, in fact, more than you want. My trusses just went down 20%, 20%. And that's off Build is First. That's a billion dollar company. You know, uh, prices are going down. I get three crews working, people need jobs. That is a total difference than even 10 weeks ago. That's, well, let's say, let's say 12 weeks ago. You know, it's, it's happening, man. We're, we're in it right now. And you know, what, what I suspect is gonna happen is that this housing business is going to get hit in a big way, okay? It's going to hit a good 20%. And, folks, what happens is that the housing business in general, there's so many people that work in it, that's a lot of jobs lost, man. And there's a lot of jobs lost. Everyone's going to tighten up. And then we're going to find out what happens with all the people that never wanted to work again because, you know, too much money was sent out. You know, that's, that's going to be a wild card, too, man. It's like, okay, now they don't have any money. Now they're broke. Now there's no jobs. You know what I mean? So we'll see what happens there, but... Yeah, my take is yeah, it's going to slow down a bit. Tommy, it's interesting you're in the building business. I had a builder in um, South Carolina tell me, he says, the problem isn't with materials right now. He says, until we get everything finished, he says that uh, the labor guys are just, the subcontractors are just throwing out big labor prices. And uh, so it's, so the price of the homes and everything is not coming down that much yet. But he says, once they run out of run money, he says, 
then the labor price will fall, and then the price will. And that will. that that's already happened here in St. Pete, you know. Uh, it, it might not have fallen, but this is what it is. So picture, normally I would do, I have one crew, and I'm, when I'm talking about the crew, folks, that crew does all the details in the house because you need people that are really talented woodworking-wise, right? I have three crews now, man. Right. <laughs> and it's like they called me. Do you know what I'm saying? And it's like, that's awesome. And you're talking about very talented people that need, need work. So, you know, and that, that switch just like this, man. I mean, that switch, like, yeah, this wouldn't have happened three months ago, man. Yeah, so. That's true. Yeah. Thank you, Tom. Uh, okay, man, have a great one. Have a safe one. Dow, Dow Industrials right now, Dow 115. NASDAQ is off uh, 102. S&P is off 21. Come right back. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my gold report. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed Designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrial is up 15. NASDAQ is down 104. You got the S&Ps off 15. Let's go to our man Dan in Los Angeles. Dan, what's going on? Hey, Tom. Uh, great friend of you. Just uh, listening to you that you mentioned that there are no sales anymore. Do you think it's a good time to get into the markets to invest in good some, some stocks or just the SPY? So, so when you say, yeah, I think there's going to be a big bounce, okay? So if you like equities, some equities that you'd like, um, yeah. I mean, I, my, my take here that, you know, if we look at the S&P, the SPX, you know, it doesn't necessarily have to go up to that uh, my take is that we're going to go right back to that 4119, and that's going to be, you know, on the the 12th of, uh, you know, we just came down there quick. I suspect we're going to be back there. We'll see whether they can make it all the way up to the uh, 4325. It, it very well could do the 4325, and, and what will end up happening is that, you know, we could go sideways for a year, year and a half or something. Do you know what I'm saying? 
Uh, I don't see right. this go. I don't see this going to highs, but that's a nice range, man. It's not a bad range. You know what I mean? Yeah. Last time when I spoke to you, you asked me to sell at forty four hundred or something like that. I was out from the market, and you said that it was coming. Uh, I'm keep waiting. So I just heard from you today show that there are more, no more sellers. So I see that. Uh, still, inflation is too high, but I know for sure uh, I work in an advertising firm. Yes, there, are, there is the less um, uh, demand, but still there are a lot of people who want to advertise and get into the market. I do think that uh, market should be fine here, like earnings will be okay. They won't be like not too much, but I think after December quarter, Probably you will know more over the year end. So into that December Santa Claus rally, I would like to invest some of my money, at least 20%, not 100%. No, I think you're right, man. And I can tell you, so check, you're in the advertising business, right? Yes. So check this out. This is a trip. So what happened, folks, in St. Pete is that the... I build a lot of these carriage houses with my main house. I bought, built... Uh, basically 16 of them in the last few years, okay? That's not, I'm not talking the main house, we built a bunch of that, but the carriage houses. So they changed the zoning, okay? And now everyone can have a carriage house. So they'll tell you what I'll do, because I sell advertising for TFNN, but I buy it, right? And this is where I think the economy's at. So I'm doing these because, you know, I've done so many of them, I can do them pretty quickly, and, and I have the crews to do them. Now, that being said, what, is, what has happened, Dan, um, is that I'm actually spending, this is the first time that I'm actually spending money to solicit all of St. Pete, and I'm going to end up spending 60 or 100 grand on advertising, okay? And I've, I've been thinking this through myself, like, okay, this is really intriguing because we're looking, I'm looking for a pullback for sure. And as you just said, but there's still plenty of people that are in good shape. So what happens is this, it has to do with discipline folks and not being over leveraged and i think there's plenty of people that have discipline they're not over leveraged and these are the times that you can really accelerate you know if you're set up correctly do you know what i mean so i i think you're absolutely correct and what you brought up on the december was really cool because see my take yesterday when they said that they're only looking for 4.6 percent in 2023, well, we're at 3.25 right now. So the bulk of this is over. It doesn't mean that the damage is over. The damage is just starting, okay? But mm -hmm. what happens is that if you know what it is, okay? So my take is that I'm saying, okay, you know, rates are going to be, mortgage rates, are gonna, my take, folks, is 8.5%, 9%. That's going to destroy everything, okay? Now, that being said, what ends up happening, I'm bringing that down, I'm bringing that number about another year from now. That'll hang out there, but then as soon as that turns, as soon as that comes back a half a percent, this market will go all crazy, man. You know, so, you know, it's going to be, it's like that, that whole, you know, it's tough medicine at the beginning. Your body's hurting, your mind's hurting. But once it releases, man, once the body knows it's repairing and you're off to the races, man, you start building, you know, higher price so we'll see but that's my take on it man yeah so so far like i've been buying like the short-term treasury bonds like a week on week i'm rolling over nice and then i'm getting like 2.5 percent uh, written on them yes i think that's a great thing to do you, hey listen man you could just ladder those so a great so what he's doing folks is this well watch this i'll bring this up here right now <clears throat> on Excuse me, if you're watching Target TV, look at this. Look at this, folks, okay? The bottom line is that you can do you can make two point four point one percent right now for two years. That's a that's a in this type of an environment, that's awesome, man. And you can ladder them yeah. because that to me is gonna go up to six 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 percent, Dan. You can ladder them all the way up. You know, you, you even it out, you'll probably make five percent for the next couple of years. That's a nice place to be in a market that I suspect is going to be very tough and going, you know, it's going to consolidate. Do you know what I'm saying? So, right. I think that's a good, you know, you could, and you could, you know, for this bounce, you, you get those going, you could get a couple on the, on the bounce and then just don't get greedy, man. This is, this is going to be a market that you can't get greedy. 
And, you know, at swing points, you better keep your eye out of what the volume is, because the volume dies, that means that we're going to be in a big consolidation, you know? Yeah, right. but like, as a long-term investor, like, do you suggest, like, uh, any kind of my IRA account, or should I put, like, some of money, like, at 20% now, and then maybe... I would say in the IRA you could, because what happens... So what happens with an IRA, folks, okay, is that you're not paying taxes. I mean, if you're, if you're a regular account... I, I wouldn't bite yet uh, because the difference in an IRA, what Dan can do, it gets up to the swing point. You can sell it. There's no tax implication for I have different ball games. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay, okay man. You, I appreciate it. You have a great one and a safe one. This is awesome. Uh, come on, tell vous We're going over to Paris. I did. <laughs> What's happening? Hey, Tom. It's Adam from Paris. How are you, sir? I'm doing great, Adam. Yourself? <laughs> That's good. Long time no talk. I appreciate everything you've done for me and my family over the years. So well, we appreciate uh, your growling question. problem with us. Yeah, yeah, yeah sir. Uh, I've done you know gold reports and all the the softwares and I've got all your books and read with you the are, seminars. Thank so you so much. Appreciate it. Yes, yeah, sir. Hey, so my question. So you know, uh, uh, you, you had me. I've been watching for the early two thousands, and I, I, I rode up the curve with you. We we sold early on. And then in March of 2009, I remember it very well. You can go back and watch the show. Yeah. You had more conviction than any human being I've ever seen. And I bought into the market and rode it all the way up until December of 2021. Wow, right? that's awesome. When you said, hey, yep. it uh, was time to go, guys. It's, something's bad happening. And okay. we sold. The, the family yep. sold. And it's generational thank you. That's, right? a, that's and, amazing. Uh, that's so cool. Um, I love it. Yeah. And and so now I'm hearing you today. Go buy, go buy. Is it that time? Is it that type of conviction of March? Hey, listen, I'm, it's so cool what you're saying because I was trying to figure out myself. I had one of the tigers in the den say, and I love his enthusiasm. I am that crazy right now. Exactly. <laughs> now the difference is this is the difference. And when I say that, that excited folks, what happens is this: the March 2021, I felt that that was the bottom. Okay, this one's a, I. I I would say that this could be a short-term bottom. And I sure. really know as to how we go up, if I'm correct in the assessment that we're going to go up here, how are we going to go up, Adam, right? Because if the yeah. volume starts correct, uh, contracting, you know my game. It's like, okay, man, this isn't it yet, okay? Nope. So yeah. that's well, kind of I'm where I Den think... i as well, so I appreciate it. Just here in Paris on short term, I live in the state, so... Yeah. Appreciate all your help. Well, listen, man, I appreciate you and your family. Thank you so much. Yeah, be great, everyone. Have a, have a great one, man. Have a safe one. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. Vista Gold owns and operates the largest undeveloped gold project in Australia, the Mount Todd Gold Project. Vista Gold just completed their feasibility study, resulting in a 7 million ounce gold reserve. Vista Gold has all major permits approved and has retained CIBC Capital Market Assistance in evaluating alternatives and in completing an accretive transaction. Vista Gold trades on the NYSE American and TSX under the ticker symbol VGZ. Vista Gold, executing a strategy to create shareholder value. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today.
An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industries is up 36. You get the NASDAQ uh, down 91. S&Ps are uh, down 13. And I think that uh, we all probably have to uh, hire Adam, folks, because uh, if you just want to see something, and th listen, man, this is, you know, um, yeah, this is, this is pretty amazing. You know, uh, bottom line, you heard me said, I mean, he rode this thing from 666 in March of 209 and right up to December, we're talking about 48, you know? And that, listen, man, I've, no one's ever seen a run like this, you know, that's alive, that's for sure. So, um, congratulations, man, I think we all better hire you because, yeah, I might be able to say it and do it and all that, but, but guess what? I didn't get that whole run. <laughs> we, we did all right, but that is fabulous, and congratulations. Let's get into the um, Dow Industrials and see what the uh, moves are inside the Dow. So if we, take a, if we take a look at the Dow right now, what you have is that you have uh, United Health uh, up 40, uh, putting 48 positive points, Amgen 27, Microsoft 23, taken away from it. Goldman minus 47, American Express minus 30, uh, you get Boeing minus 26. Inside the NDX 100, the strength versus the weakness inside the NDX. Vertex Pharmaceuticals up 2.6%, uh, Pindoradu 2.3, Activision 2, taken away from it. Airbnb down 8.5, look at that one, man. Lucent down seven, AMD down five and a half, and you get uh, Marriott off uh, five. Let's go look at Airbnb. I want to look at this because I think what you're going to have happen here, right, is that look at this, yeah. So one of the that you know when when, I, when I'm looking at the, the real estate market in general, folks, right? What I'm trying to figure out, and I think it's going to have to do with, see, you, you know, as that old saying goes, you never know where everyone is until the tide starts going out. And there's no doubt we're nowhere near the aspect of, um, you know, the, the uh, 2007, 2008, meaning over leveraged inside the, the housing market, except for there's plenty of people that you know, are in this Airbnb business and... Um, I think that business is vulnerable to some real hits, you know, because what ends up happening, of course, we go into a recession, you go into a recession, there is less money, um, and they just may own too many apartments. That's what it comes down to. Um, you know, so we'll see how that uh, does shake out. Uh, we get a target that's in the den, there's no doubt, um, you know, saying that the aspect is, hey, listen, um, there's plenty of people that have cash, good income. And that's, that's correct. And that's what I think is going to save us, folks. That's, that's the reality. I think, there's, I think there's plenty of people that have cash, that have enough experience, that have been through these downdrafts, okay? And they're not greedy. Because that's what it takes, you know. That, that's the bottom line. That's what it takes. It, it's hard to basically, you know, you know, not be as aggressive as you might want to be. You know, and I think that's what we have because of the experiences in the past. And if that's what we have, that's going to what will what will end up happening. My take is that what will end up happening is we're all going to have less cash. First off. OK, uh, if it's not less cash, you, you're going to be putting um, you're going to be able to put the people that have are going to be able to put it out to create 
more jobs and to create more manufacturing, and can, to create more GDP in the country. Okay, that, that's where I'm going with it. And I think that is one of the saving graces. I actually, you know, I, I think that's, that's where we're at. And guess what? Cash is trash, okay? But it, it, we know cash isn't trash right now because of the fact of the strong, how strong the dollar is. But in the context of longer basis, you know, my take, and I went through this whole thing about the commodities, and uh, what well, I don't care if it's wood, stone, um, I have a much better um, conviction that those, compared to a fiat currency, actually will hold up a lot better, you know. That's, that's my take on it, even with the dollar being this strong, you know. So uh, we go back to the market again. You're going to see this market wants to run, man. It's, this is like so deviant. It's so cool. And this had to do, you know, it, it really had to do, and you had to be in front of a machine, folks, and really, you know, this morning to really understand, you know, the aspect of how it was trying to break lows. And, and once it did, it just didn't have the juice. Now, what we have here was we, we got the confirmation 40 minutes ago. That, that bar 40 minutes ago was a great bar. This one here is coming up. It's going to be a great bar. That, that bar the first bar was 17,000 contracts. We're breaking that bar right now. That's going to have 17, 25, something like this. I mean, it, it, it's accelerating right now. Right now, we're, we're at 11. So this is telling me, man, you're going to go, you're going to, you're going to <laughs> this, this wants to run, man. That's the bottom line. And the real question is, how many are on the short side right now? Uh, because, you see, the, when, you, when you look at it, it be like, okay, do you want to go into the weekend long? Well, I want to go in long. I can tell you that flat out, you know, because I, I think we got to establish something here. And if we have established something here, the acceleration off the lows are normally pretty good. That's how it kind of shakes out. Then, what do you do? You're going to build cause. You have to go sideways for a bit. You do the next one up. Um, and a lot of this I'm getting also from the context of how these gold equities are operating. The gold equities have been a disaster, right? That being said, the bottom line is that they're getting some juice. You know, yesterday they got juice, meaning they got wide price spread, they got volume, and then they all failed. That being said, guess what? They're going right back in that, in that flavor. And, you know, we'll see whether gold and silver. Silver's got itself. So let's go look at silver because silver has definitely been stronger than gold, which is very unusual. Uh, uh, where are you? Silver. I want the SIZ. Oops. There we go. So silver, it's 61,000 contracts. That's great contract volume. Yeah, it wants to be, it's, see that, that sign of strength from two weeks ago is a beauty, man. That sign of strength saying silver wants to go to 2098. You get 2098, maybe we'll get the 22, and then, you know, we'll see, we'll see how this baby shakes out. I, it looks to me that, you know, you had Japan intervene in the currency market for the yen. The real question's gonna be is there, you know, we're going to wake up uh, some morning is that there's going to be intervention all over the world. And then they say that they want to calm down the dollar, which is real possible, by the way. But until then, folks, OK, the bottom line, go get your euros because the euro is at 98.43. You know, so if that's the case, you know, and the, the dollar starts backing off, well, guess what? The euro is, you know, going to get to higher price. And right now, you know, let's say it's par, you know, it's below par a bit, but uh, the bottom line is that it hasn't been at that level for quite some time. And, you know, some of the higher volume equities that we have out here today, you have uh, Advanced Micros down four and a half bucks. You get NVIDIA off five and a half bucks. Tesla's down 10. You have uh, Google's up a dollar 60. One of the favorites inside the den, Kavarta. Science. <laughs> oh, they, they, I guess they're all happy in the den. Man, I'm telling you, this thing. So this is something else. Look at this stock, man. Oh, my God. So <laughs> this stock in four days, folks, one, in three days, it gone from $29 to 50 And what this is all about, this is a shot squeeze extraordinaire. The shot position in this, okay, 
is uh, 33%. One out of three shares a shot. Stay right here, folks. Come right back. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrial is up five. You get the NASDAQ uh, down 110. S&Ps are off uh, 19. So let's go take a look at how the setup is. Uh, because the, you're still, you know, bottom, you're under the lows of yesterday. That being said, what you're going to see, you get a big contraction, you know, so we'll see how this shakes out tomorrow. Um, you know, you, you, right now we get 77 million shares. We broke yesterday with 106. So that's a big break uh, downtown, no doubt. Now, as I said at the beginning of the show, it's not a big volume at all when we look at the weekly. Uh, but when we also look at the weekly, what's happening is that right now, you are into that bar by halfway. So it's like, okay, the toss-up is like, okay, man, you're going to get down there, you're going to test it, what are you going to do? Um, you know, my, my take is that this is still making a bottom, and I suspect tomorrow that we're actually going to be higher. Uh, we take a look at the NQs, the, the QQQs. We're going to see the same thing. Yesterday we had we had uh, 82 million. Today we're only at 56. Yeah, the 56 is going at the 79 as well as uh, 81 as well as 86. Okay, same set, uh, setup though. You got to you want to get back inside that range because of the amount of price as the price got below that price. That, that, that's a big deal when it gets below that price. There's no doubt about that. We go take a look at the uh, gold contract. 
uh, what I suspect we're going to have with gold. You come into a Friday. Now, my take is that gold's going to run tomorrow because I, <laughs> I suspect that something's going to fly uh, overnight inside of this dollar. That's, that's where I'm looking because you had, what you had last night is you had the Bank of Japan come in. They intervened in their market, and guess what? It really didn't do a thing. <laughs> you know, yesterday, you know, yeah, the yen wise closed at like a 144. Well, you're at 142.35. You know, so if you're one of these large currency traders, um, you know, this is the typical stuff that they deal with on a continual basis. That central banks, uh, you know, bottom line, want to protect their currency, and you know, large currency traders you know, want to basically take them to the cleaners. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about, whatever you focus on grows, and whatever you want in life, folks, visualize it like a nice big motion picture. Step into it, take ownership of it, and fly with it. Come visit Tommy tomorrow morning. Kicks us off, 9 in the morning. Great show, folks. Look at them, folks.